If I should return with my body on my shield, tell my son I chose to die, then yield. Though my life may soon be gone, I hope you'll carry on. Remember me. As one who would not heal. Fight with blood, fight with steel, die with honor. Never yield. Fearless hearts. Fill hey, what's up, folks? Permanent Patriot here. We're gonna talk about some cloning right now, and see what that ties into. So, all of this is. As you can see, publicly announced genetic events. So let's just get the bullshit out of the way. 1890. Rabbit embryo successfully transplanted from a foster mother rabbit's uterus. So that's really when they started cloning. Okay. 1944. A human oba was... Let's see. Okay. Well, this was really like 1938 is when the first human was cloned. A human oba was fertilized in Euro... That is, in layman's terms, an egg was artificially inseminated in a test tube. 1952, Briggs and King and Indiana University clone a frog. 1970s, Rand Corporation predicts that parahumans will be genetically created to do menial tasks in the future. If you don't know the Rand Corporation, they're a think tank. In a totally different affair, Lord Rothschild, who is a physiologist and Illuminati scumbag, head honcho, who has studied genetics, warned that self-centered fanatics might set up cloning shops privately. No, that's what he's worried about. Crazy men like me might set up cloning shops privately. See, privately. That's what he's worried about. He doesn't want to lose his money. He suggested genetic scientists that a cloning controlling organization. You see? With worldwide jurisdiction to license cloning be set up to protect the world from evil men who might want to clone people for evil purposes. He called this the Commission of Genetic Control. Now folks, now folks, um, there's already a lot of talk, there has been a lot of talk, that these scumbags, the Illuminati guys, have already used people's bodies and gone back in some certain time in history or whatever and so on and so forth and have already done this and manipulated a bunch of shit and I mean you can only imagine uh, yeah who men who might want to clone people for evil purposes and we'll get into that later on that's a different that's later in the story well, uh, 1977, announcement of the first successful cloning of a person, which was done for someone. Now, folks, if they put this out publicly, you can bet that it's at least, at least 10 to 30 years ahead of where they actually are. They don't just figure shit out and then put it out to you immediately. You know, they do all their studies and shit on it, which takes years. And then they fucking come out with it. Tell you they found it. Just like the shit with, uh, they found water on Mars. Yeah, they fucking knew water was on Mars a long time ago. So, there's that. Uh, Congress had a parade of establishment research doctors testify at a hearing to debunk the book. And to reassure the public that medical researchers were too concerned about ethics to clone people. 1980. A bisection of an embryo, a twining, which is a form of cloning, was successfully done with horse foals. Sheep and cattle had already been cloned in this fashion in the previous years. 1981, mice are cloned. 83, water buffalo embryo transplanted to a foster mother buffalo. 84 human embryos successfully transplanted and born with a human foster mother. So they publicly admit in 1984 that they can clone people. 1997, a successful human clone is publicly announced 
And that's where it ended. Are you fucking serious? Do you really think it ended there, folks? I mean, they said they said it was because it was for ethical reasons. I mean, give me a break. They have mind-controlled prisoners, humans, underground at a lot of these dumbs, deep underground military base. And these people are kept there captive. And the fucking horrible experiments are done on them. How's this for horrible? The name of the fucking, one of the places at Dulce is called Nightmare Hall. What kind of experiments do you think they do there? They got another place that works on fucking dreams and memory. Your brain. They said at one level there's fucking aliens working side by side with humans. And at one level there's, that's it. That humans can't go down any further. I mean, it's totally insane. 1997, first successful human clone. Now, how come to this day you haven't heard anybody come out and say, I've got a cloned person here. Yes, this is Robert. He's a clone. You don't hear that shit. Why? Folks, they can make like 60... They can make a clone every 20 minutes, something like that. So, Britney Spears and uh, a few other ones, I can't remember right now, but Britney Spears, uh, there's highly, very good evidence that she, uh, she's been cloned hundreds of times. And when you see this girl's eyes move, it's not none of those cheap reptilian videos you'd be seeing around. This is the real fucking deal. And it's probably one of the freakiest ones that I've seen, is the Britney Spears eyes one. Where they go sideways. So U.S. government and private researchers have expended billions of taxpayer dollars, and they just gave up. I'll check this out. September 93 in this news article entitled clones synthetics or organic robot robot robotoids and doubles okay Dulce research blah blah blah, blah blah I felt that this was confirmation that God that God's had directed me to publish the information I had on cloning half months before the secular media came out with the stories about the first laboratory this 1993 cloning was the first publicly revealed and publicly accepted human cloning, but the truth is that it had already been done for about 30 years secretly. In December 1993 newsletter, I had a follow-up article on cloning where I reviewed what the media was telling people about cloning after the first human clone had been announced. My article was so discussed that the novel Multiple Man, which is about how exact copies of the presidents are made, the book has some surprising similarities with what they actually did with President Carter and folks I read it and the conclusion I came to was Jimmy Carter was a fucking clone September 96 the author's newsletter came out with the fourth article on cloning the appendix is not the final word on the topic the whole topic about clone synthetic blah 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 could have a great deal more said here's the appendix Okay. Okay, so then it goes into shark. Some of the films that show existing technology. Uh, I keep saying they show you what they're really doing and what their real plan is. And so, folks, when Star Wars first came out, they already had all that shit. Okay. Already had it. Getting into cell biology, uh, technique instructions, how to clone a human. And it's actually very easy to clone a human. There's only like three steps, I believe. So remove the fol follicular fluid. Okay. And then. Well, it's only about. <laughs> I get lost there, but it's only about two, two of them. Two or three things you gotta do. And synthetic people 
That's what they call them. So four types of clones used by Illuminati, actual clones. This is a person who's been grown from a test tube, which has the identical genetic makeup to another person, an identical twin, so to speak. And the genetic coding has reproduced, and a new person who is an identical twin is now in existence. These are persons, and I think David Rockefeller has done that about six times. These are persons, synthetics, who look every bit as real as a person. They basically look and do everything like a person, but they their skin looks waxy. It looks plastic looking. Um, the process is an advancement of a process discovered in the late 50s. Uh, reported, blah, 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 biological time bomb. Okay, and that's why they're... Re that's why they're doing all these cow mutilations and taking their fucking eyeballs out and shit. Organic robots, boys. Artificial life form that's created through processes that are totally different cloning or synthetics. Organic robito robotoid. I gotta get that down. Is being made to make exact as possible copies of important people such as presidents and some of their staff. For instance, Jimmy Carter who became, who came to Portland a few years ago. I gotta read it on here. Uh, stood two feet away from and examined him visually was not the Jimmy Carter they had run for president. On Easter 1979, the first robotoid human model of Jimmy Carter replaced the man Jimmy Carter. By the time Carter was seen by me, they must have been on at least robotoid number 100. This is why a friend of mine who was recently in Washington, D.C. almost bumped into President Clinton jogging. My friend was surprised by the lack of security. Kaiser, okay, so they go through this whole thing. I, I already did the video on it. I'm not going to waste time on doing here. Okay, and blah, blah, blah. Here's all the stuff if you want to read it. And, folks, I'm just <laughs> telling you right now, Jimmy Carter was cloned. And I got a, a very good suspicion George W. Bush was. Other than that, who the hell knows? Mm -hmm. Secret cloning sites. These are the dumbs. Deep underground military base. And also in the military bases. You can, um, they have underground tunnels and underground cities. They've got high speed rail that can get from New York to LA in like an hour. And they go all over the country. DC. Alley, and you know, all over. Alright. So, here's B.O.B. talking about the cloning when he first talked about it. And I'll show, the, I'll leave the video in the description. And I'll leave some other videos down there. Come to your own conclusion. Oh, cloning. What is a cloning? Do you, do you want to get cloned or as celebrities get cloned? Um, yeah, man. I, I think people should look it up, man. I, I don't really want to say too much, but I will say uh, do your own research. You sound like a conspiracy theorist. I'm not really a conspiracy theorist. It's no more conspiracy. I know. I know. And so it's it's really up to each person to do their own research and, and come to your own truths. You know what I'm saying? Because I feel like we as people listen too much to what somebody tells us. We don't actually go background check and really say, hmm, you know what? That really don't add up. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, when you really look at, at, at a lot of different things and you start to think. So what I like to do is I like to both talk. And, you know, I could go on and on with it. It goes on and on, folks. You see all the fucking topics. There's way too much to cover. But next you're going to be doing these giants here. So stick around for that. That's it for now. God bless and carry on.